So, Sam, how are things going with your new film project? Not too well, Hannah. We are still finding it difficult to raise enough money. What sources have you tried so far? We tried to get a loan from the bank but they won't lend to us. They say our project is too risky. I think they just don't like creative projects. Did they ask you how much you guys were going to invest in the project yourselves? Banks usually ask that. I imagine they asked about your personal assets and credit ratings as well. Yes, they did. How did you know that? I know because I've been there. I've asked the banks for loans for our projects and been rejected many times. Really? But you have a good reputation for raising finance and managing successful creative projects. Thanks, Sam. That's nice of you to say so. So where do you find the cash to invest in your projects? Nowadays we use crowdfunding. Some people call it crowdfinancing. It works really well for us. Crowdfunding? I've never heard of it. What is it? Well, instead of asking one person or organization for a lot of money, you ask lots of people to invest just a little bit. You ask the crowd to fund you. Each person only needs to invest a small amount. Is that really possible? Yes. Barack Obama used the same technique to fund his presidential election campaign. But that's politics. What about the creative industries? Can creative people use it to raise money for their businesses and projects? Yes. We can. Ha ha. There are many examples. In the creative sector crowdfunding has been used to finance films, music, performance events, arts projects, product design, book publishing, etc. It could be used for any kind of project really. Wow. That's amazing. How does it work? Well Sam, sometimes people simply sponsor a project in return for a credit, or tickets, or some special perks and extras. Or even a chance for investors to get involved in the project in some way. So it's just a matter of asking for donations in return for a credit, or for some goodies or some other special benefits. Yes, that's one type of crowdfunding. But it can also be more sophisticated where people make financial investments in return for shares in a special project company and then get paid a dividend from the profits. That sounds a bit more complicated. Yes, it can be. But for your project, Sam, you don't need a huge amount of money and so you could ask for small-scale sponsorship investments instead. You can ask for different levels of sponsorship in return for different benefits. Hey, Anna. This sounds like the breakthrough we need. Thanks a lot. You're so clever. Anna, you're a real creative entrepreneur. I like the way you are creative and the way you do business. You seem to have all the answers. Where did you find out about crowdfunding? I found out all about it on the T-Shirts and Suits Creative Enterprise Network. What's that? It's an online network of creative people from all over the world who share their experience of cool business methods. It's called T-Shirts and Suits because it's about creative people being smart with business ideas. Cool. Yes, Sam, it's wonderful. You can learn from other creative people about marketing, intellectual property, creative collaborations and other business matters as well as raising finance. In fact, all the things you need to know about business to make your creativity into a sustainable enterprise. Fantastic. How can I join this network? Just Google for T-shirts and suits Creative Enterprise Network and you'll find it. It was set up by David Parrish. He's a creative industries business advisor. And he wrote the book T-shirts and suits a guide to the business of creativity. You'll find a link to the network from the David Parrish website. Hey, thanks, Anna. I'm going to tell my team about crowdfunding and find out more from T-shirts and suits. This is brilliant. It's a pleasure, Sam. Good luck.